Welcome back to Nordic's Play, The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, with your chronicles, Phantom and Velgar. So. And the deadly, deadly, deadly Kurari Poison. I'm so proud of myself, I can now pronounce it. Yes, thanks to me. Yes! <laughs> Phantom was right, it's Kurari. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone is shocked. I um, just love how oh, cheese. Oh, it's me! And you're suggesting that this bottle console actually contains this terrifying poison. Yes, this, um, this is all very convenient, isn't it? Yay, it's my episode now. And yes. I have taken it for everything. Either there are no poison, which there is no means of testing, but a happy tale for the defense. Ah! No, Discord! Ah. Show me! Show me! <laughs> Ooh. Um, if I may. Are these facts? You think you're so clever? Yeah, but. Uh, oh, oh. Didn't we go through this already? It seems so familiar. Yes. Yes. Just so. about to do the same thing again. It's you. you must be top. Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> what? What? This is so familiar. How does Monogamous eat? I said it last time already, I'm doing it again. No! It's required! Moving on! Even breath is. I don't care, moving on. Back by your lack of monokuma. So. This is how you Japanese behave, is it? What? Still another honest artwork. Then announce the results as you discovered them. Hey. What a shock. I'm appalled. What a loathsome act. Well, Miss Pratt, the feeling is mutual. You don't say you're gonna again. Whatever do you mean? Capitalizing on the unfortunate circumstances of an in innocent man to frame him for a heinous crime. He looks really innocent right there. Yes. Uh, oh, 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 yes, me! I'm very innocent. My shifty, innocent. shifty eyes are not to be accounted for. The really low. That really oh. is a loathsome act. Wouldn't you agree? No. Oh, okay then. Yuri, yes. Enough of this. I, for one, refuse to accept it. <laughs> yes. oh. Fun boy. The idea of some poison that doesn't even exist in the Great Empire of Japanese is, is um, the breaking the rules. <laughs> Do we get a breakdown? Already? Seems really soon. What's so funny? No. Excuse me. Oh, Excellency. Yes, Miss Brett. May I borrow that bottle for a moment, please? Are you going to? Are you going to be throwing me in that room again? I would love that. Kind of like some god of. Um, oh, yes, I don't see him. Why not? Is she going to drink it? She might, and just to prove the poison was somewhere else. Uh... Yes. That wouldn't be allowed, actually. No. Don't get too big for your boots, you insignificantly lilac boys. 
Sorry. Island boys. Tiny little island boys. An English woman such as myself. Tell a fair a fanciful comedy. If I may say so, your tiny little island is smaller than ours. Oh. Which is empire. Your little poli police games <laughs> and this foolish card romantics. It's laughable, really. <laughs> Sorry, police? Police? <laughs> oh my god, that was cute. Police. But I'm getting bored of it all now. It's time for the games to end. Hey, Pip and Cheerio. That wouldn't be allowed. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you doing? Hmm. No sparkle left at all. Appropriate for a shabby affair. Can you please move the closer to the side again? Me. And bring me. Okay, because I must head that. <laughs> Goodness. Whatever is the matter, you all look quite stunned. Well, except for one person, which is surprising, because he probably thought there was poison in there as well. So, no Kurari. The bottle was clean, is what you're saying. Uh, hmm. You look quite incredulous, little boy. But of course, that's a simple truth. Yeep! It's creepy as hell. Thank you for presenting the findings of my reader so concisely here in this grand venue. Most kind. Arrrr. Unleash the beast. Thank you, waiter. Now then, Your Excellency. Um, yes, Miss Red. I should like to be excused now. Please. But wouldn't you say this is the very reason why you evacuated one class? I think I've given more than enough of my time for the furtherance of friendship between our countries. Ah, yes, dear lady. You are most gratified with all the assistance you have given. God. This doesn't make sense. There had to have been poison in that puzzle. Well, not necessarily. It could have been in a glass. Mm -hmm. So how? How did she? How did she swallow a whole class and live to tell the tale? I don't understand it. Well, I suppose if nothing else, this little boy is in charade. We'll make for an interesting conversation at the next party I attend in London. There, there has to be, uh, there has to have been poison in that bottle, doesn't there? But there can't have been, because otherwise she would have killed over dead. Come on, Percy, we have all the clues now. That bottle of water. Contains no poison. Right? Phantom? Phantom! We'll be right back.
And we're back. Thank you, Discord. And Phantom cleared out one thing. Yes! But yes, it actually did contain the poison. There was just a little tiny bit that she remembered from the court record. And that's what we checked just a moment ago to make sure I remembered it right. And I did. Ho 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 ho! It only works if it goes in through a wound. And she so drank it too. Consuming it likely doesn't work. <laughs> Slam! The culprit did put curare poison into Dr. Wilson's carbonate water. Hi! Hi! The defense refuses to change its position! You're serious? Have you lost your mind? Maybe. Bigiari. Bigiari, hi. Oh, are you blind? There's no possible way that bulk can contain poison. I mean, we just saw... Miss Brett drinking the water from it. Sift the eyes. That's right. Which rather complicates your argument, I think. And I believe that complication can be explained. How exactly? I need to think through all the things that don't quite add up here, one by one. I'm sure the answer is in the evidence we have in the court record somewhere. It has to be. Shift your eyes, shift your eyes, shift your eyes. Report. Very well, if the defense truly intends to assert his claim. Oh. I must ask you to support the assertion with evidence. What explains how the witness was able to consume this supposedly poisoned border on skate? It's the report. Yes. Hi. Hi! The answer to this riddle is right here in Bree's Brett's own research report. Shift the eyes, shift the eyes. Figure, yes. That's not a valid explanation. No? No. At all? Don't speak English. That report is hard and gibberish. <laughs> Impudent young scoundrel is trying to ridicule the court, Your Excellency. I'm not trying to ridicule anyone, honest. I'm just raising Susato Chan's son notes. I concur. This report is too extensive to be considered in its entirety by the court. It doesn't have to be entirety. Yeah. Well, direct us to the pertinent section, Council. <laughs> Fine. The section of the report reveals the elite's answer to this riddle characteristics. Yes. We've been hearing a lot about this curare poison. And it's left me curious about something. Oh, Council? Well, it sounds as though indigenous Hunters have been using this poison for years and years to lace the heads of the arrows that they shoot at whatever prey they're hunting. Oh, we've been led to believe, yes. And the point of hunting is to catch prey to eat. Ah, yes, that as well. Get to the point, please. But if they were used to lace, yeah, if they yeah. were to oh, use what? these laced arrows, um. doesn't that mean there would be traces of poison left in the prey the hunters were going to eat? Yes, good point. I of course thought of that already, but it's good to see you come to the same conclusion. What? So, surely the hunters wouldn't want to eat their prey, would they? Because then they'd be eating poison! Good gracious, Council! No, that would be madness! 
But I actually found the answer to that conundrum in this research paper here. I mean, it's 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 uh, some, uh, somewhere, it's somewhere here. Uh, uh, the, the notes got mixed up again. God damn it! Uh, uh, I don't know. I I'm almost illiterate like some other game hero before me. How sad is that? Under special characteristics, it says this. The poison starts to work after entering the body through a wound. Through a wound, you say? I see. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm smart. But what does that have to do with the case we have here? Oh, wait. Yes, the mention of that particular detail seemed a little strange to me, though. But it all makes sense when you interpret what's written like this. When Kurari enters the body through an open wound, it has terrifying poisonous effects. However, Slam! When it enters the body via the mouth, it has no poisonous effects whatsoever. What? Miss Brett! You ordered this research. You knew Kurari's special characteristics. What? And you knew that you could make a spectacle of drinking the water without any danger to yourself. Meddling little. Beep! Uh. Up, Scully! <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone is okay. It turns out. My favorite thing is saying his name. Haha. Uh -huh. You're an even better lawyer than I thought you'd be. Ha <laughs> ha Look at the smug smile. I thought you would suck at this. Really? Me? A lawyer? Yeah, see you here. Uh, all this poison duck is fascinating, I'm sure. Uh, and I fail to see how it possibly. Oh! So, the ill bred little puppy has a new toy to play with. Ducks he read in a book. Can he actually read? Uh, yes! I'm. Very much unlike some other unlikable main protagonist. I don't believe that. But I'm afraid knowledge doesn't suit you, little boy. It only makes you look silly. What are you trying to say? The hmm. schoolboy's logic has a fatal flaw. Schoolboys? Well, that's what you are. Floor? What is that? Okay. As even your brain has managed to deduce, you are already safe to ingest. It seems likely that its effects are neutralized by the acidic nature of the gastric sucks. Oh! oh my. <laughs> yes! Oh well, my of course! God. Gastric suckers? What are they? I can't. I can't with this guy right now. <laughs> Look at that smile suck. like. <laughs> <laughs> Is that gastric suckers? How did you even come up with that? Stupid. So, if this little poison is completely harmless when drunk. Professor wouldn't have died when he swallowed it. But he? Well, no, when he swallowed it, no. But he, remember, he had a tooth operation. And that as well, yeah, there was definitely uh, open wound there. Because did it ha have a tooth removed? Hmm. Oh. That's alright! Huh? Yes! It's gracious. <laughs> Again. Hmm. Basic science. Science that even a schoolboy should be able to understand. No. Mur mur mur. 
Order! Order in court! Order! Yay! Logic holds. If the lady and the professor drank the same poison, they would be affected in the same way. No. Ah, oh, are you trying to suggest? Yes, the cute Addy poison is completely relevant to the case on trial. Yay! No, we need to present the thingy. Yeah. That's right. You need to present the thingy. No, wait. <laughs> I'm smug. Surely even a little approach like you would understand something as simple as that. That was a fast change. What was that? What? What's going on? Oh, is this welling up inside me? Booga booga! Constipation! No, wait. No, 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 no! I never felt like this before! It's a sort of conviction to break down all the discrepancies. It's so intense, almost rage-like. And more than anything else, it's an animalistic desire to take down my prey. Why are you being so dramatic? You're like Hajime, that's not a good thing. Yeah, we, we, we just spend a moment describing how different you are. And now you ruined it. Do you want to be Hajime? Yeah. I wouldn't. Beep! Oh. Ah. Ah. I don't think so, Miss Chesail Pratt. I wish to answer me and get with her again. Oh, how dare you use a tone with me? And uh, how do we not. Well, no. You know very well that there is no fatal flaw here. You know exactly why, even though both of you and the victim swallowed the same poison. You are alive, but Dr. Wilson is dead. Go. Also, I'm sure I don't need to remind you, you must provide compelling evidence. Yes. As we now know that this poison is completely harmless when unjust. Why would Dr. Wilson alone have been killed by the QRE? Boing, 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 boing. Thingy, boing. The medical report. Can't yes. Yeah. Yes. As Miss Brett so readily pointed out, she drank the same water as the professor. However, there was a fundamental and fatal difference between the two diners. A fatal difference? Yes, one of them is dead. The toxic effects of curare are only felt when the poison enters the body through an open wound. So, for a healthy person with no injuries, drinking it is completely harmless. But... What if there was a wound inside the mouth of the person drinking the poisoned water? Inside? Yes. Like the wound you might have if you had just been to the dentist and had tooth extracted, for example. Uh. Ah! Slam! Yeah. Miss Brett, you acknowledged many times in your testimony already that you were well aware of Dr. Wilson's dental appointment that day. Uh. So that's it. You use that knowledge to orchestrate this. Break down, break down, break down, break down. <laughs> is is she laughing? I don't like to repeat myself, but honestly, I can't resist. Childish courtroom games and your half-baked arguments are also puerile. What? What do you mean? Don't worry, little schoolboy. You'll find out soon enough. You see, when you leave control evidence lying around, you never know what might happen to it. <laughs> oh dear. 
Or I missed a policeman next to her do something. Yes. Um, I I am totally powerless to do anything. Oh dear, oh my. I'm a good poli police. No! I mean, it could just slip. Mr. Policeman, you're useless. Yeah. Oh dear, how careless of me. I'm afraid some crucial evidence may have just been tragically destroyed. Isn't that suspicious in itself? Yeah. How can you tell there is no amount of glass there where the liquid remained? No! no! <laughs> it's the English woman. She's just a reporter. I need a super cool. What a terrible blunder. Sir, what are you waiting for? Collect up as much as the water from that broken bottle as possible at once. You're wasting your time. It's delightful carpet under my feet here was a gift from the British Empire. <laughs> God damn. I assure you, it will soak up the water beautifully. I have needed the technology, not a presence of mind to recover it. Hmm. I mean, we could still use the glass shards to offer her a cut from it and see if she likes it. And I mean, the thing is, doesn't that make her look extremely suspicious? <laughs> Oops, I accidentally destroyed evidence. Yes, you did. Sure. Yeah. And Mr. Policeman didn't do anything. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, could you? You. You won't get away with this. You can't bump the bench and shed as much as you like, little boy. But I'm afraid we'll never know, will we? If there really was poison in the bottle, or not. You! And let us not forget. We still have some very compelling evidence left in town. Isn't that right, counsel, for the prosecution? And by Ouchie? Well, of course, of course! Defend this photograph print, I presume, dear lady. That's right. And really, looking at this photograph, it is clear as day, isn't it? Poor professor was sitting with his back to me. Yeah, that's been that's ha that's been something that's been bugging me as well. Because I. I kind of thought that he had been just turned around for the picture, or something. So of course the only person who could have shot him from the front is the little schoolboy. Ikiari! No! You killed the victim that day, using Kurari! And then, in order to frame Ruonosuke Naruhoro for the crime, you waited until he picked up the pistol you'd arranged for him to find on the floor, before you shot the professor's dead body in the chest with your own hidden gun. But where could she have held a hidden gun? Anyway. Then, in the confusion that followed, all you had to do was turn the dead professor and his chair around. And nobody noticed it. Well, everybody is really incompetent. Yeah. You see, you had every opportunity to commit this crime. <laughs> what a wonderful imagination you have, young man. No. Yeah. Hidden gun, you say? And I shot the professor's dead body, did I? 
Papa. I'm terribly sorry, but I don't have a shred of evidence. Exactly. And pen, 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 pen. As you have nothing to support your wild claims, the prosecutor's stance remains unchanged. Uh, mm, uh, mm. We really don't, do we? There's going to be something that mm. they'll talk about, or something pops up, and all that. The victim, Dr. John Well H. Wilson, was killed by a gunshot to the chest. Damn. Delivered in gold blood by the accused, Ryu Nasuke Naruhodo. Come on! We just saw her destroy a vital evidence. Which is pretty suspicious. Mm hmm. Oh. Hmm. This is unbelievable. How can this be happening? We had her, but now, is she really going to get away with it? No. The way she destroyed that evidence was obscene! If the policeman has been looking shocked ever since. Mm -hmm. Ryunosuke. Ryunosuke. Yes? Yes. Yes? Huh? We've come this far, but now... Now you're the only one who can finish it! Oh dear. What? What do you mean? We've lost a vital piece of evidence, it's true. So, if there are any clues left for us to use now, they must be in your head! Let me slice that, it open! That doesn't sound promising. No. I would believe Rionus' guess head is quite empty. In my head? You told me before that your powers of observation were the one thing you could really depend upon. Well, yes, that's true, Pa. But I didn't manage to notice that this woman was a foreigner with a swan on her head. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that swan out. So think back again now. Try to remember every last detail about the scene that day. Everything you saw, everything you felt, every color, every smell. Ah. What I saw, what I felt. Every color. Oh, this blood. Yeah. Ooh. Is Kazuma right? And maybe. Because that would actually prove that he was shot from in front while he had been turned. Lord. Blood. About. We'll have to check that out in our next episode. No oh boy. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Bye bye. Getting interesting. Mm. Ooh. But if you don't want to miss that, you should subscribe and also leave a comment, like the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye.